Hey guys, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you can, if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you resonate with my video and enjoy what you heard, please give me a big fat thumbs up and even drop me a line or two. I love to have the positive feedback and I always Always try to make sure I reply on every comment and if you are a returning sub as always thank you for the love and support and come and see what I'm about today and love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you also and namaste namaste guys today my video is about twin flame 101 why the bad things happen to good people I've always heard that saying, and even though they did a song on Empire about that, which that song fit me to a T. Bad things happen to good people. We can, we, you know how you can see some people that raise all type of hell and have the best daggone luck at times, and you just trying to figure out how how did you do that? How did you get that? And it's just like you know, you you want to pull your hair out sometimes, like how did this happen? And it's just like, why do I gotta keep going through all these things? I figure I'm a good person. I pay my debts to society. I'm nice to people. I can be generous when I want to. But why are we? Why do we go through bad things? Um, today I'm listening to um, eight hours of relaxing sleep music. It is just so. <sighs> It's like Calgon take me away. I, I love listening to many different meditations because they really, you know, sometimes you just need that zen, you know, and I try to make sure I put that on my, you know, on, on many of my videos. But anyways, why do bad things happen to good people? I always wanted to know that. And it's just like when you get your outlook on life and it's just God's not going to put nothing that will basically not. Not that he's not going to put nothing on you you can't handle, but he gives, like, he gives the toughest lesson to his strongest soldiers, basically. It's like we are light workers, and it seems like the light workers really catch hell. <laughs> we really go through a lot of hell, and you're trying to wonder why, you know, it's more good that you're doing. And it's just like sometimes we can get caught up in the moment and try to wonder why we do so much good, but still have not received the things that we want and it's just like we have to think and be mindful we can't be just doing things just to be able to try to get something to counter you know you can't be making deal with god like that and <laughs> you can't do that saying okay well i'll do this and this and this and that if you give me this and this and that he's not gonna give it to you unless he feels like you're worthy enough to go through all this and it's just like you know, you really catch it. You really, really, really catch it. You try to understand that, but you have to look on the outlook of life. Sometimes that is really hard to do, and I say that a lot of times in my videos. Sometimes it's hard to look at it that way, but it's just like God has given his strongest, the toughest test to the strongest soldiers because he knows you have the potential to go through this, and he knows, you know, you're going to get it one day. You're going to get it because you're going to understand like after everything is through and you get to where you have to be you're going to understand you know why you had to go through these things why you had to go out and do this why you had to go back and set back and do that and you're going to understand it and it's just like more and more every day i reflect and i see that and it's just it, it makes put so much clarity to me you know why i had to go through all these things because i'm like god dog if you sit down and listen to me you would swear up and down i had like friday the 13th in that big cloud <laughs> over me like that you know who put roots on you because girl you done been through some stuff but it's just like everything i lay out on the table is just when you go through so many different things and you know you you catch it like from different angles it could be your family it could be your job it can be your bills it could be home repairs you know your car can break down you're trying to figure out how you're going to be able to do this and now not add it to another bill we just have to have faith and trust that things there, there are reasons for the things that we go through. There, there's reasons behind everything we go through. And it's just a lesson or a blessing. 
It really is. It really is. It's just like when you sit back and look at things, and it's just sometimes that's hard to do when you got everything coming at you different way. You know, because you're like, I say my prayers, you know, I give my tithes and my offerings. What else do you want? You know, you can't look at it that way. It's just the fact is you want something in life. You pray, you know, you pray for that job or you pray for that, you know, your husband or you pray for that wife. You know, you're, you're always praying for something to be better. But you cannot get those things if he doesn't feel like you're worthy enough. Because it's just like I said before, he is not going to hand you something when you're sitting on your butt not doing it. You know, and it's just like, you know, doing my videos, it makes me feel so good that I'm able to, like, push out that. Because it's just sometimes, guys, y'all see me and it's just like, lately I've been pushing out so much that it's, it's like, I like being exhausted like this because it's just like, you know what, you're pushing love, you're pushing positive vibes, you you pushing you know, good, you know, just, you're just telling people it's going to be okay. You're, you're pushing so much love out to people and they might need to hear that. You know, you're not the only one who's going through stuff. And it's just like, if you put, like you throw everybody's stuff on the table and we complain about the things we go through. I say that a lot of times when in videos, because sometimes we cannot be grateful for the things that we have. And it could be the littlest things and we don't even take appreciate, you know, you don't be appreciative about those little things because it's just like the little things you know you get those little things you got to be grateful you know grateful that God woke you up this morning grateful that you were able to eat you know breakfast this morning put some clothes on your back because there's some people out here don't have they don't have that luxury <laughs> they do not have that luxury because you can sit we all will sit up here and complain about the littlest things the littlest things and I guarantee you the cat down the road or the dog down the road probably got it worse off than you so I'd rather take my stress than somebody else's so it's just like when we cannot sit up here and think about why the bad things happen to good people because I mean we do have some jacked up stuff happen because it's just like you know when you hear somebody losing their child over something that that was petty or you know or cancer or some kind of illness and stuff like that and you don't understand why this happened, but later on you hear that, you know, your child was able to, you donated your child's organs to help another child be able to live. Or, you know, you don't open up to awareness where people are starting to pitch in more. It always has a purpose. It always has a purpose. And it's like sometimes it's sad to think of stuff like that, but down the road, when everything has settled down and you're, you're accepting the things that happen, you will be able to look at it from that way and know that, you know, things are going to be good for you. Things are really going to be good. Sorry, I just, when I start seeing that my candles are going behind my computer, so I want to make sure everything's okay. But yeah, when, you, when you're going through things like that, you know, it's just like when I see these little children that, that you know, didn't make it, you know, because of, you know, I, I no telling what it is you know somebody can have a, a newborn baby or something like that they don't make it but they end up donating their children's organs or something like that and then I hear a story about you know the child you know there was one child that needed a heart transplant or you know a kidney transplant plant and they were able to give those children those things because it wouldn't that child sacrifice his life for two other people so it's just like, wow, you know, and somebody was actually nice enough to do that because they know how it feels to want to lose, you know, doesn't want to lose a child. And you got these health stricken things that happen and you're able to help out somebody else and that'll be your blessing. So it's just like when you go through things like that, we have to think outside the box. Think, OK, why am I going through this? There's a reason why. So it's just like when we figure out what the lesson is of the situation, we will continue to go through that route. So I'm not trying to hold you guys up today, you know, I was just, you know, I had these videos that I had to go ahead and put out, so I'll be putting out a few more and just breaking them all down into little sections. So I'm not saying what day it is, because, you know, whatever day I decide to upload it, that'll be the day it was meant for you to see it. Because everything, there's a message that's always happening right when you, right when you need to hear it. So I will talk to you guys later, and I will see you on my next video. And like I always say, I will keep you guys in my prayers and hope you do the same for me. And if you can, just like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And even drop me a line or even give me a big fat thumbs up. I love the positive feedback and I make sure I always reply to every comment. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.